All systems are go for the opening of Sandals Barbados' newest property on island, Sandals Royal Barbados. It will feature over 200 suites. Public Relations Manager David Hines says the final touches are being applied at Sandals Royal, preparing it for its December 20th opening. Overall, Mr. Hines says bookings for Sandals have been solid. We've uh, ran in the high 90s uh, for the beginning of the season and spill off into Sandals Royal. We're probably going to open around um, probably 80%, 80-82% in the opening week. But the bookings, looking at the trend, seems to rise uh, towards um, coming into January. We should be, both hotels should be at full occupancy or thereabouts. The Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce elaborated today on reports that it is considering a U.S. stock listing for its Caribbean bank subsidiary, CIBC First Caribbean International Bank. Speaking during an investor presentation, CIBC Chief Executive Victor Dodig sought to put the reports into context. He said FCIB is already listed on some stock exchanges. The CIBC chief executive added that FCIB is performing well, even though it's going through incredible recent natural hardships. He went on to say that a U.S. listing for FCIB is one of the op op options under consideration to recognize its value. As CIBC aims to grow its dividends sensibly and remain near the mid-range of the dividend payout ratio. News of the possibility of a U.S. stock listing for First Caribbean follows CIBC's recent acquisition of Chicago-based private Bancorp for U.S. $5 billion. Well, it's often said that Bajans too love a freeness, and today hundreds of Bajans and visitors alike took advantage of a partial freeness with a special 45th anniversary offer from Chefette Restaurants. The two main specials for today include a two-for-one special on the popular rotis, while customers who purchase the typical two-piece snack box are given an extra piece for free. And from St. Peter to St. Philip, today reports, photos and videos have poured in on traditional and social media of long lines at both the Chefette drive throughs and inside the branches themselves. CBC News caught up with some of the customers who were able to take advantage of the special offer. For me, anything that is free is good. And when I could buy one roti and get another one free, can't miss up on that, man. At all. Go on, get here. Get the chauffeur, man. Come and get your food. I got two snack boxes. And I think it's really good that you get extra piece because every day we come in and buy these things and we ain't getting any extra when we come back. However, not everyone was able to get what they wanted in time after some stocks of the items in demand apparently ran out. I was hoping to get some chicken, but I understand chicken like it running out as I expected. I, I don't know if you're all seeing the, the, the people and the lines and stuff because this is the second chauffeur I've been to now and just can't seem to escape all the traffic. So I got to see what I could get when I get to the top of the line. It would be good if I could get one of the specials, but when I get there, everything was gone. What you came for? I came for the roti, but when I get there, all the rotis are gone. So what you had to settle for today? Um, pizza. <laughs> this customer was praiseworthy of the initiative, even though he was unsuccessful in getting what he wanted. I believe that it would have been a good special if they had some there. You know, all the rotis were out, blah, blah, blah. But um, otherwise than that, can't really kill them because you know the agents want something free you can go so all i can say is kudos to the marketing manager he did a good job well when contacted for comment about how the anniversary exercise went today chefette officials were unable to respond as most of the managers were also busy assisting with the demand from today's special time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region First is Jamaica, where Carreras Limited was the volume leader with 168,396 units. They were followed by Mayberry Investments Limited and Supreme Ventures Limited. In Trinidad and Tobago, National Enterprises Limited was the volume leader with 242,340 shares changing hands for a value of $2,423,050. They were followed by First Citizens Bank Limited and First Caribbean International Bank Limited. And in Barbados, Sajikor Financial Corporation Limited was the volume leader, trading 5,274 shares, a 
$2.17 each. And they were followed by the Insurance Corporation of Barbados Limited.